see. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Got me one of those little privacy guards. Privacy guards. So, nope. Yay. Nope. Yay. All right. Anyway, uh, that is not the point. Came across this because apparently today, 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 although, well, yeah, today, I guess this is sometime older, but today apparently is some, what the hell is today? According to Twitter and according to uh, certain types and kinds, like black women equal payday or black women strive for equal payday. Black women, very specific. Okay. And so this article has been floating around. All right. And I am going to be going through this article. This is off the cuff. So it's not scripted or anything. <coughs> so we're going to go through this. This doesn't seem to be all that long, but let's see how, what we can glean from this. All right. So commentary. Uh, it takes 20 months for black women. Again, very specific. Hmm, okay. For black women for a black woman to earn what a man earns in a year. We can fix that. Uh, yeah, or, yeah. Okay. We can fix it. All right. Right off the bat, I hope to God I don't sound like some right-wing conservative or some liberal leftist, but, you know, uh, if anybody has seen my Twitter recently, I'm, I've been accused of being an incel despite having a girlfriend for, like, what, over five years now? Um, a bunch of, uh, yeah. Um, in fact, I might even link my Twitter because sooner or later you guys are going to find it and you can see all the gloriousness. All right. So, um, starting right off the bat, commentary takes blah, 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 blah. We can fix that. So, right off the bat, I got question. I got an eyebrow raised. It takes 20 months for a black woman to earn what a man earns in a year. A man earns. And in fact, I will I I I retweeted this article with a commentary on my Facebook and I'm going to read off that commentary right now cuz that pretty much says it uh quite well. Uh quote, "Is that so?" And this is now in caps, "Which man?" Uh undo the caps. Are you talking about black men, East Indian men, Middle Eastern men, the homeless man? Uh, the homeless man, actually I said homelessness, that's a typo. Uh, the homeless man in any and all major cities in the USA. Funny how these kinds of propaganda pieces never zero in on white men. The ones actually being used as the comparison to everyone else. They demonize men. And what happens is non-white women end up turning on the men in their races. Okay, so black women turn on black men. Asian women turn on Asian men in their races as those said men in their race are doing the oppressing. Nice trick, feminism. And it is feminism, okay? White... Feminism is something that bored middle to upper middle class white women get to enjoy the most. It is something to keep them busy, okay? Uh, by and large. So there's that. That is what I think of just the title alone. Let's get into it. <clears throat> the recent signing into law, uh, and, and actually I, I haven't read this, I haven't read this, so I'm reading along just with you guys. Uh, the recent signing into law of the quote, no salary history, no salary history bill by uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker, 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 Pritzker has brought the gender pay cap to the forefront yet again. Statistics shown, the statistics show, uh, statistics, here we go. Uh, statistics show that women, women in aggregate, so first it goes from black women, and now it's saying women as a whole. All right. Hmm. Uh, statistics show that women in the aggregate make 80 cents on the dollar compared with men. And of course, there's a standard issue questions that can be asked when saying something like that. 
Uh, so I won't get into that here because that's just been done to death. Um, uh, one thing I will say though is uh, in addition to all those questions, another question, another knockout one hit kill question that I have is, okay, if you can pay women 80 cents, or 20 cents less than you pay men to do X work, in this also capitalistic society, why the hell would you ever hire men for anything? Hmm? I mean, I dare say that bit of logic is quite proven uh, as you see jobs were going over where it's cheaper than even paying the woman her 80 cents, her supposed 80 cents or whatever the hell less x less than a dollar and now it's see, being seen even more when you see machines taking the jobs where you can essentially pay what would probably be the equivalent of one cent you can run machines damn near 24 7 minus the maybe one i don't know hour a year or yeah hour a year let's say to do maintenance, to maybe do systems updates, to maybe put, like, change the oil or something, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Why would you ever hire men if you can pay women to do the exact same job? And, of course, this is assuming same quality job, blah, 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 for whatever the hell less than the man's real or supposed dollar. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> moving on, uh, this persistent disparity inspired the creation of a national equal pay day. Okay, uh, a day, just a day, out of um, j j just one day. Okay, um, meant to commemorate uh, the day when women's earning catch up to those of men from the previous year. Okay, this year it was March twenty eighth. Okay. It's important to acknowledge that equal pay does not uh, that equal pay day is not equal for all women. So we start off with black women. Okay. Then it says women in aggregate. We all know what aggregate means or should. If you don't, I have dictionary.com app on my phone and I have the entire English dictionary downloaded to my phone. I'm just saying. Um, uh, it is not equal for all, not quote unquote equal for all women. Thursday represents equal pay day. Ah, uh, finally, we get to black women. Thursday represents equal pay day for black women. Okay, this means that black women will have to have worked all of 2018 and through August 22nd, 2019 to earn what men earned in 2018 alone. Okay. And to that, I asked a question, uh, the same question I asked, I asked, um, in my Facebook, which men you're singling out black women. Why don't you single out the race of men you're talking about? Cause you're not about to tell me that they're comparing black women to black men. <laughs> okay. Cause from what I've come to understand, black men are the absolute dead last where Every other race of men is ahead of them. Every other race of women is ahead of them. And even black women are supposedly ahead of them in most, if not all, things. So, no, you're not comparing it to black men. Um, something tells me you're not comparing it to Middle Eastern men, East Indian men, Native American men, Alpha Centaurian men, Martian men, uh, v uh, Venusian, v Venusian men, Venusian men, v Venusese men, whatever the men is of Venus. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, all them pieces of Plutonian men, whatever. So which men? You just say men here. And this this is a very, very misleading thing for anybody who doesn't catch it. Because now, all men. just I've been going in on a bunch of different people on Twitter with this thing of just saying men without specifying which man. Again, I very well may link my Twitter so you can go and see for yourself. It's not my Twitter isn't blocked or filtered or anything like that. Anyway, uh, to, to, to earn what men earned in 2018 alone. When, when calculated by race, black women make only 61 cents of the dollar. Okay, so here we go. Uh, when calculated by race, uh, black women make only 61 cents to the dollar. 
Native American women, uh, Native American and Latina women fare even worse, making 58 cents and 53 cents respectively. Compared with, whoa, finally, okay, here we go, white men. They're finally zeroing in on white men. Okay, because they're they can't use any other man. So I don't know why they didn't just say that from the start with white men. Okay. White men, fine. Okay, they're the ones that own everything. They're the ones that control most, if not all, things. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? This also I find quite interesting. Native American and Latina women. Um, Latina, Hispanic... Gonna have to really iron out the definitions between that because Hispanic is considered white. Go look at job applications, any kind of applications, white, non-Hispanic, black, non-Hispanic. They don't say Asian, non-black, or East Indian, non, non, I don't know, whatever, right? Non-Middle Eastern. Hmm. So this, this, this can really screw stuff up. Anyway, uh, that means when we commemorate Equal Pay Day in spring of each year, black women, along with our with our Latina and Native American sisters, sisters, yeah, of course it's sisters, okay, are actually nowhere near equal. So what that tells me then is that I highly doubt this is an Asian or East Indian woman writing this. It is a white woman writing this. Dory Mc... Dory McHorter, McHorter and Sherita Ellens. Okay, well, Sherita is not exactly the most whitest, uh, most whitest, the whitest sounding name in the world, but okay, you never know. Anyway, sisters, we are actually nowhere near, uh, near equal. Historically, black and other minority women have been overrepresented in low-wage jobs okay um, I want to ask why that is and but it is true um, here's what they don't tell you so have uh, other quote unquote minority I don't like using that term for black people minority uh, man black men have been represented in them too overrepresented but whatever uh, which accounts for some of the pay gap but by no means is it the only factor. Other factors include the gap in advancement opportunities, occupational gender segregation, and the motherhood penalty. Okay, well, as far as that whole motherhood penalty thing, that's between you, the God you more than likely don't believe in, and your homegirl, Mother Nature. She's the one that fucked you up in favor of whatever. So that has nothing to do with men. And considering that more and more women are not having kids now because they're choosing not to, in addition to the fact that a lot of men are saying, fuck this whole marriage and kids BS, I want to have my freedom. And live like a king off, what, 30000 a year instead of needing like 80000 a year to go raise a wife and kids, plural. Yeah, that mother that motherhood penalty is your business. Um, according to the Chicago Foundation for Women's Most, the according to the Chicago Foundation for Women's Most Recent, according to the Chicago Foundation for Women's Most Recent, this needs to be edited properly. Uh, uh, the Chicago Foundation for Women. Okay, the, according to the Chicago Foundation for Women, I'm assuming that's the name of the place, the Chicago Foundation for Women, and that foundation's apostrophe S, okay, uh, most recent gender equality report, Chicago Foundation for Women, yes, that's going to be for women, not for mortal humes, for women, yes, that is going to be very unbiased, um, yeah, I'm sure. Sure, I'm gonna go take some scientific peer review, journal entry, blog, vlog, captain's fucking log, uh, report from an atheist, peer reviewed by another atheist about theism. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna trust that. I'm gonna trust a theist report, peer reviewed by another theist about some atheist shit. Oh yeah. Uh huh. 
Right. Um, Chicago Foundation for Women's most recent gender equality report, black women in Chicago experience in Chicago specifically, not across the entire U.S., okay, but in a very specific, hmm, uh, experience at least f- a five-point gap in leadership and managerial participation rates when compared with those of white men. And this is more than likely true, but what I would also like to ask is, okay, Chicago of all places, isn't Brown uh, Brown University or whatever the hell in Chicago, right? Which makes me wonder, where exactly in Chicago are these black women? Are they in the places in Chicago or in that state of Illinois, well, well Chicago, uh, where... Um, opportunities are or are these black women in Chicago, the vast majority of them, in areas where there are no opportunities for anyone. Again, I find it very interesting that they picked Chicago specifically. It's amazing. It's just a standard issue Chicago. White supremacists and them want to pick Chicago when it talks about crime. They don't talk about crime in all these all-white places with the meth, but they want to zero in on Chicago and now more recently Baltimore when they want to talk about black crime hmm. and white women with their feminism and their black, I'm assuming black uh, tokens want to go to Chicago when they want to sit here and talk about how black women are also disadvantaged. Huh? Okay. Always Chicago. <clears throat> when compared with those of white men. Okay. And I want to know how many white men are living in the same areas where all these black women are. I'd really like to know that. Uh, to boot, black women with an undergraduate or graduate degree fare even worse, gap-wise, than, than low-wage okay. uh, gap low women, encountering a 36% gap in pay between themselves and their white male counterparts. Huh. Okay. Uh, black women in an under in, with an undergraduate graduate affair even worse. Okay. Uh, gap between themselves and their white male counterparts. Huh. Okay. Uh, the National Women's Law Center. I'm sure this is going to be on bias as well. <laughs> Not not national people or national humans or national everyone, but national women specifically. Okay. Law Center. I mean, hell, you might as well get Gloria Allred to to be to be heading this shit. And that's gonna be unbiased. Uh, Center notes that the wage gap often widens over the course of a black woman's career, causing her to lose nearly. $870,000 in potential earnings. These same women who turned to education to level the economic playing field are often saddled with far more student loan debt than their white peers. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. Um, apparently, black women are the most educated, certainly in the black community. Um, of course, we say um, they say educated, but I say indoctrinated and indoctrinated in what? But... That's me. We'll go with educated. They're the most educated. In what? STEM? Or do we have yet more business majors that did not graduate from the top three business schools in the country, which I believe are Wharton, uh, Harvard, and U of Chicago, Brown. U of Chicago, Brown, I think is the... right. I'll say top five. I don't know who the fourth and fifth one is, but Wharton is number one. Harvard is number two, as far as I know. Um, sorry, Princeton, Yale. I don't know how you all factor into that. Um, I mean, everybody knows the name Harvard even more than Wharton. Unless, of course, you know of Wharton. Um, Wharton, Harvard, and Brown. Those are the three that I know as the top three schools for business. Um, everybody else is wherever the hell they are. How many of these black women are graduating from those places and are struggling? Okay. How many of them are graduating from those places and then are graduating from those places and are struggling? Right. 
Ah, uh, with student loan debt. Um, yeah, and that is because on average, white people are able to afford college more than non-white people. Um, leaving immigrants out of this because like Asians and Indians, their parents might send money over or send them over paying for school completely. So I'll leave them out. But when it comes to the people here, um, the more poor you are, of which black people tend to on average be the poorest, uh, the more you're going to need help, the more student loan debt you are more than likely going to have. So, yeah, this, this, yeah, of course. Uh, additionally, women, exp oh, women, now it's just back to women. So now it just says, additionally, women, not black women anymore, women. You see, you, you, you see how it keeps going macro to women and then micro to black women specifically, then back to women, then... Uh, Black women do not sit here and get used by white feminism because when it comes down to it, when white feminism or non-black feminism gets what they want, they're leaving your black asses out there and I don't know how the hell you're going to blame black men for this. Additionally, women, whoops, my fault experience a 40% drop in earnings immediately following the birth of a, their first child. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, that, that, yeah. Um, if you women can recover in 24 hours and get back to work 8 a.m. the next day after you just finish a, a thousand hours of labor, right? <laughs> Go right on ahead. If you literally physically can't because biology, right? Because biology uh then again whose fault is that that's that's not men's fault again go hit up your bitch mother nature yo, 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 she's the one who's hating on you you know okay um a higher percentage of black women as head to here we go. this here we go with this 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 is gonna be gold a higher percentage of black women as, quote, head of heads of households, unquote, means that their pay gaps are less likely to be ameliorated by a second salary. I wonder why that is. Hmm? I wonder why that is. Forget any historical business, even though that's... You, history is the reason why stuff is the way it is right now, you know? <laughs> We all know of this whole butterfly effect thing. Go back in time and step on a butterfly or step on an ant when the original timeline you didn't and watch how everything changes, you know? Jeez. I wonder if we didn't have... Okay, we can talk... Well, leave slavery out of it. Leave slavery out of it because when it comes down to it, go research Black Wall Street and all this other stuff. Black people were doing better than many white people post-slavery during the Reconstruction era. Mm -hmm. Go research Black Wall Street and what happened there. Who the hell is trying to reach me? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Twitter, don't care about you right now, right? So there's that. There's Jim Crow, the effects of which we're feeling to this very day, the residual effects, um, the, 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 the soap scum, right, and mold of Jim Crow we're feeling to this very day. And then, of course, there's what we have in today's day and age with the kind of zeitgeist in the air. Thanks to certain types and kinds in positions of power in various places, not just the White House. Um, yeah, I wonder why that is. Hmm? And then, of course, there's the whole prison prison business and how... The, uh, I, I, I could get an old thing about that. And of course, white feminism isn't going to talk about that. Okay. And finally, because wage levels determine contributions towards social security, pensions, and other retirement benefits, the wider gap in income persists beyond black women's working years. Okay. While all of this may seem dire, we are encouraged by the recent policy changes. Uh, the game-changing no-salary history law, 
uh, which takes effect September 29, will break the cycle of low salaries begetting low salaries. Studies have shown that as early as their first that as early as their first year graduating from even prestigious colleges, women encounter w women, not black women specifically, but women as a whole. Hmm, I wonder if that means white women. Okay. Uh, who are probably doing better than everybody else short of white men. They're probably not telling you that either. Okay. Uh, graduating from even prestigious colleges, uh, women women uh, encounter a salary pay gap that persists throughout their careers. Okay. Currently, in most places in the country, companies can penalize and even fire workers for sharing salary information. Well, you know what? They deserve to get penalized and fired. You don't talk about the money. Shut the fuck up. Right, it's, 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 it's really just that simple. Like, like, stay the hell out of my pockets. Don't you? You don't need to know how much I'm getting paid, right? You don't talk about the money. Wasn't it Google that thought that they were paying women unfairly or something, or were women bitched about it, and then Google went and audited themselves, or somebody audited Google, whatever it was, and they found that women were actually getting paid more than men, so men got a pay increase, something like that. You all can go look that up. It was Google or Apple? I think it was Google. Or was it Intel? Nah, it was Google. It was Google. That was funny. Oh, and I wonder if all of this is going to translate over into the porn industry, which should be completely free, but, um, you know, again, who the hell is paying for porn in today's day and age? So how are they making money? But, uh, yeah, uh, in the porn industry, women get paid infinitely more than men. Everybody knows this to be absolute fact. Nobody's playing dumb with it. The women know that. The men know that. I know that. Now all of you who listen to me and have reached this far know that. Uh, feel free to go look it up if you don't believe me. And the only saving grace for men is that, on average, their porn careers tend to be longer. So there's that. Um, I wonder how this Equal Pay Act is going to fare for those, those for a job like that. Anyway. Uh, information. While in Illinois, we are protected by the Equal Pay Act. We need we need passage of the Federal Paycheck Fairness Act to make sure others across the country can benefit from similar protections. I want to know how these things are worded. Is it worded the same way the um the the mandatory arrest laws are worded, where Essentially, it's like the person that's more or more more likely to cause damage, leaving out weapons, leaving out whatever martial arts she might know. Mandatory arrest laws and domestic violence, somebody has to get arrested and we are going to arrest the person that is more likely to cause damage, meaning the dude, since he's physically stronger. I want to know how these things are worded. Okay. Uh, to make sure others across the country can benefit from similar protections. Okay. Almost done. The burden to uncover pay discrepancies should fall, shouldn't fall on individual women alone. Companies also must look for inequalities. Inequalities in their own ranks by conducting regular pay audits and addressing any compensation differences that are uncovered. Um... I'm going to read that one again because I can't companies must also look for inequalities in their own pay ranks. So basically unequal on an um, equal. We know what does equal mean? Ask math. What does equal mean? One equals one X equals Y equals Z um, equal, not greater than less than or roughly equal. OK. Um, and addressing any compensation differences that are uncovered. Okay. So what that then tells me is that if I work at some place for God knows how long and I am pimping my three certifications to the highest bidder, some random motherfucker or motherfuckette for you ladies 
uh, can come and demand the same amount of pay that I have, even though I have the cert plus I've been building and fixing computers since I learned at 14 in high school. So I worked at the big three, Micro Center, CompUSA, when they were here, and Geek Squad, Best Buy, right? So all my experience plus my three certs, and they only have three certs, but they're to get paid as much as me, which means my experience means nothing. And God forbid, I'm sitting here trying to earn this case labs case, which I in fact am trying to do, and this damn case is like over a thousand dollars with the customizations plus shipping. Anybody who doesn't know about case labs cases, computer cases, go research it. Um, quality shit, okay? Uh, so I'm putting in the overtime to go and get, earn this case labs case. That's gonna show up in my yearly earnings. All this, all this mad overtime I'm making in these huge guapa stacks of money. And that's going to now be a problem. Huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that. At this point, I'm like, you know what? Pay whoever else, whatever you want to pay them. But here's how much I want. I want $100,000 a year after taxes. Minimum. You can give me more if you want. Minimum that. You want to pay somebody else that? Or more or less? Fine. I don't care. Pay them more. Would they have less experience, less credentials, less whatever than me? Fine. This is how much I need. $100,000 a year. I'm just, this is just an example. Being a minimalist, I can use that money to go do my own thing and get the fuck out of all this. Okay? Pay off whatever bullshit ass debts I have. Keep my ass alive, living, paying off routine bills, rent, mm, gas, mm, cell phone, and all that business. And then go save the money to go invest and go make my own shit where I don't have to worry about this. This is for workplace type stuff. I'm pretty sure the rich people that do not have to work to live and live off investments and stuff like that, they don't have to worry about this shit. That's where I would like to get to. Where I don't have white women who want to bitch that they're not getting paid as much as white men try to use black women and black women and other women, non-white women, are actually believing that they give a fuck that these white women, these white feminists give a fuck about them. And so, because they know for well they're not going up against white men, these non-white uh, women, they're not going to go up against white men. Who are they going to turn to? They're going to turn on their own race of men. And we see that nowhere more than in the black community. Okay. Get to where you don't need a job to live and you can live off investments and stuff. You don't have to worry about any of this foolishness. Moving on. Uh, discovered. Additionally, we need to put... More, more, more. We need this, we got this, but we need this, and we need this. And additionally, we need to push for legislation that allows women and men to share the burden and provide the flexibility to care for their families. Through such benefits as pay, as paid family and medical leave and paid sick time. The companies that can afford to do this, the Microsofts, the Googles, the Amazons, especially the well, Walmart can afford to, but I'm pretty sure they're doing that at the corporate level. They they probably already do this. The companies that can't do this won't be able to do this. Okay. Um. It, additionally, as far as men go in today's day and age, why the hell are you even having kids and having families and all that stuff? Considering that uh, family courts is just one accusation or one eh, I'm bored and I feel like it away Ew, oh God. moving along we're almost done let's get this over with I'm pretty sure well, what is what is the timer on this thing 34 minutes let's get this wrapped up we cannot end the pay gap without also also yet more things also looking towards stem level ch oh so <laughs> I thought it was going to talk try and Try and take down STEM. System level changes, okay. Uh, towards system level changes in corporate America, which drives 70% of our nation's, eco uh, nation's economy and therefore wages. System level changes. 
I'll just say it right now. White women want to take white men's spot. They don't give a fuck about any other women. And they sure as hell don't give a fuck about the men of any other women. Okay? That's that's what they want. That, that That's white women via feminism want to sit there and bitch and whine and get... They want what white men have. And they're trying to use non-white people. Women and indirectly as a human shield the men to do it system level changes in corporate America which drives 70% of our nation's economy and therefore wages uh, the gap in the number of black oh so we're going back to black women now okay well yeah. <laughs> yay oh well <laughs> okay Ah, yes, more more black women as the shield for white feminism. Uh, the gap in the number of black, specifically, women on corporate boards has an effect on the development of more, ec more economic corporate policies and practices. Yeah, sure it does. Maybe if it was black invented, black owned, black ran. But as long as it's not, <laughs> and that's before you start talking about stocks and what other group of people own it perhaps not always white black women being a, no no one half of the most powerless group in the united states and perhaps even the western world is not going to have fuck all to do with any of any change in anything okay Especially some shit they don't own. So let's not play that dumbass game. Uh, policies and practices. Even though stopgap legislation has passed last year in the in the Illinois State Assembly, we must revisit. We. I wonder who this is talking. Saying we, we, we must. Come on, we. Okay. Uh, we must revisit the the require the question of requiring Illinois Illinois uh, corporations to have diverse boards by including women and underrepresented minorities. Okay. So we were talking about black women, and then we go back to women, and now just underrepresented minorities. All right. Forget the whole women part. Underrepresented minorities. People, one and all, any passerby to my channel here on the outskirts of, on the outskirts of YouTube, Underrepresented, my oh God, here comes. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to edit this because the is that the phone or the doorbell? No, that's 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 I think that's my girl's mother's phone, she's visiting still. Um, underrepresented minorities. understand what the word minorities mean. What does the word minority mean? Go look at the dictionary definition and use a bunch of different dictionaries. Merriam-Webster, Oxford, dictionary.com. Right. Underrepresented minorities. That doesn't mean black. White women, women, white women are a minority and they're bitching about how they're underrepresented in everything. Right? Conservative white Christian males with one red eye, one blue eye, or a peg leg, or a hunchback, they are also minorities. Minority is... Right? People with blonde hair, blue eyes are a minority. Redheads are a minority. Underrepresented minorities. This... Is a is is a serpent word. You you heard that term here first. Serpent word, that can mean anything to anyone, depending on how they want to use it. Shape shifting, Odo from Star Trek, whatever. Morph from X Men. Shang Song, from Mortal Kombat. This thing is a shape shifting word that can mean anything to anybody. Conservative white Christian males, heterosexual, 
with a limb blown off are a minority. So you see minorities, and hell, same thing with people of color. People of color is anybody that's not white, right? People of color and minorities are two terms, two word slash terms that are fucking up black people. Or at least black men kind of pretty much see it. But again, we're the worst and the lowest and the most on the ground of everybody, right? Uh, It's fucking up black women a lot. Now, of course, there are, again, the tokens and the, and the, and the Oreos or the blacks that wish they were white, okay? But for the most part, it's fucking up black women because they're actually believing this crap. Be very careful of this word, minority and people of color. People of color is anybody who is not white. Minority is anybody who is not a, I don't know, white male. I guess straight white male. Hell, conservative white gay males are a minority. Like, like, and the moment you say minorities, then those same ones can go and get all these goodies and benefits that are supposedly for other people. Case in point, um, what was it? The uh, affirmative action. Look up the history of affirmative action and welfare and all this and, 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 and all this stuff that was earmarked for black people to help with the whole business of slavery and Jim Crow and all of these white people claim some kind of minority status same thing with white people claiming oh Native American look up the term five dollar Indian and the history behind that and so because they're a quote unquote minority blonde hair blue eyed Thor looking motherfucker is one one trillionth Native American so they claim minority and then they get all these benefits I don't I don't I don't do minority or people of color when I'm talking black. I say specifically black. Okay. Underrepresented minorities. <clears throat> Women of all races must work together. Oh, 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 so it's all races. You didn't even talk about Middle Eastern women, East A East Indian women, Asian women and all this. But all now all women of all races need to work together. Okay, bitch. Women of all races must work together to close the wage gap for their sisters of color. Okay, I'll I'll leave that one alone. Um, as writer Audrey Lord 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 Day Lord said, "quote I am not free while any woman is unfree, even when her shackles are very different from my own." Audrey Lord, all right. Bef- let me see. Is her ass white? Because if she is, and she's sitting here. Audrey Lord, okay, she's looking black. All right. Uh, she's looking black. Uh, womanist. Okay, feminist. All right. Well, that that tells me everything I need to know. And this is what, 1934 to 1992. Um, madam, during your feminist years, who the hell were you fighting against? You think those same white feminists, white female feminists that you were supposedly sisters with weren't getting goodies from the same white men that that, that, did? I mean, come on. All you non-white women, do you honestly think white women are really against white men despite what they portray? These white women know full well if any non-white dude gets gets to where white men are socioeconomically, Asian men, East Indian men, Middle, Middle Eastern men, Native American man, oh my God, black man, oh my God. They are not going to have anywhere near as much fr- privilege and freedoms to do whatever the fuck they want and lose their fucking minds as they can right now. So they act like they hate white men. They really don't. Okay? So while you're sitting here siding with them, do you really think that if you manage to topple white men, that you are going to share in the power that the white that 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 white women are going to get, really? Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh huh. The shackles are very different from my own. Jeez, I wonder back in the thirties, forties, and fifties what shackles white women had 
that were on equal footing with the shackles black women had and the black community as a whole. Hmm. Like I said, the Oreos, the tokens, the ones that wish they were white. The organizations we represent are working to close the wage gap for all women and to advance gender and racial equality. Okay. Uh, so, how do black men factor into this? Asian men? East Indian men? Uh, you, you all know where I'm going with that. I will have a link to this. I will have a link to this. Um, this bit of foolishness. Sad shit. Very sad. Anyway. Uh, your thoughts. Your thoughts. Your thoughts. Later.